Hi guys, this is Ahmed Shishman and welcome to another episode of Let's Patch. Today I want to mix three oscillators and create a complex bass sound. I want to use generative tools such as LFO, sample and hold functions um, to keep things interesting. Uh, yeah, so let's go. For this occasion I'm going to use the voices from the Verbos, like from the complex oscillator and the foundation oscillator. Um, I'm going to mix them through a VCA. So I'm going out with the master one in channel one. The second, the saw one in channel two. And with the foundation oscillator, I want to create those, yeah, not really a melody, but like melody progression, let's say like this. So to control more harmonics, I'm first going to use a filter for that. And then going into the VCA to mix them together with the other oscillators. And the master filter will be vamp and tone. And I'm going to use this as a low pass gate. So just let me connect them also to, to the Cosmix mixer. I need another cable for that, a longer one. No, not really, it's like here, it's totally fine. And of course there is here, here a, a bit of um, delay and reverb. <laughs> Doesn't sound sexy yet, yeah. But as I've said, I want to use it as a low pass gate. For this, I need to trigger it um, with a sequencer and of course create an envelope. I'm going to use the Erica for this and going into the function generator of Joanalog, Contour 1. And here I'm triggering a five step sequence and I'm going out with the envelope into my low pass gate. Pretty simple. Yeah, and uh, what I like about this function generator is that you have also precise control on each channel. I mean about the rise and the fall, like the attack and the decay right now, how the curve should behave. Now we have okay. So this is actually a pretty static sound. What we need to do now is, of course, trying to modulate the right things and keeping it interesting and generative. So for this, uh, my main LFO source is going to be the Oct. Um, it's it's a module designed by Divkit. It's basically an eight um, LFO um, in triangle uh, waveforms and it's scaled like from fast till slow at the bottom in a musical way to have this kind of organic drifting LFOs and it's I'm using it in a kind of a slow setting and I'm just going to modulate now different parameters of my voices. So for example, the slowest one are going to be the timbre. Of both voices, as you see, I don't have that high control voltage. It's just going to do some subtle changes. Then I'm going here for the richness. It's nothing else than a wave shaper. And I want to modulate a bit the lower and higher harmonic frequencies and even some even and odd. So we have this nice little changes now. And of course I want to modulate also a bit more and using the clap dias for this. I want to modulate the mod index of the complex oscillator. So it's just a synced 
It's just a synced LFO with a downwards waveform. And it's also kind of a five-step LFO here. Let me connect the right cable for this. I'm using unipolar, polar, like, uh, not really unipolar, or no, I'm going to use bipolar. Like going minus plus. Yeah, and of course, this is all just a matter of tuning it the right way. Now, you have to find the sweet spots in the filter. Of course, if I'm going to open up this here, let's listen a bit more to the... I'm just securing a bit the bass section. So, last but not least, now I want to generate kind of a melodic progression. Melodic is maybe not the right word for it, but I want to bring more progression into it. I want to change the melody or the scale in which this oscillator is going to play with random... Yeah, with a sample and hold function actually here from DivKit, the random step. It's a um, pretty simple technique. I'm just using the second channel and I'm triggering the random module every four bars, as you see it here, just on step one. And I want also to sample the note and create random voltages. So, but I want to play them in scale with my oscillator. So therefore, I'm first going to use the quantizer of IntelliJ and then sending it to the one alt per octave into the foundation oscillator. Now you hear it already. And of course, I want a bit more control here with the filter to open up the harmonics, closing them. Yeah. So yeah, I think we are set now to do a little live jam session.
Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, actually, it's never easy to create um, the lead sound of a track and to keep things interesting. Sometimes you do too much, sometimes it doesn't sound right. But using these generative tools is something you need to learn and master in modular. And actually, it's a never ending process. You need a lot of patience with it um, and there is a lot of struggle involved, but that's the beauty of modular. To keep things or to create things, you cannot do with a closed synthesizer system. So let me know your thoughts on this, how you are creating interesting patches.